I'm off to see my very first game of three-sided football. Now, I'm a complete football ignoramus, so I really have no idea what, what the game is all about. So, what a three-sided game could be, I simply can't imagine, but I'm desperate to find out. Essentially, three-sided football is, as its name suggests, a game of football played by three teams. And in order for that to happen, it's played on a hexagonal pitch rather than a rectangular pitch, and there are three goals. We say that there are three rules to three-sided football. One, there must be three teams. Two, that the winning team is the team that concedes the fewest goals. And because it's football, the third rule is the ball must be round. So one of the interesting things about everyday relationships is this feature known as triadic closure, that our life consists of triads of people. And these work best when everybody, if you like, loves each other within the triad. If, if the triad is, becomes unbalanced, it's very, very unstable. And essentially that's what you've got here on the football pitch. Building alliances and breaking alliances, and that's creating enormous instability. So, tell me about why you settled on five as the team size. Um, it, was, it was an experimental process, to be honest. We had no idea um, what was going to be the right number. And uh, four years ago, when we were doing this very experimentally and trying lots of different permutations, we tried it with two. doesn't work at all. Three, you've got a game, but it was exhausting. You were absolutely dead, or I was, anyway, with my fitness. six people on the field, basically. So, that, so two a team would be six, right. three a oh, right. team would be nine, nine. Yeah. four a team started to work, that was good, but they were still quite a lot energetic. Um, five worked really well, five seemed good. We went to six, and there was the issue with six, and I think you saw it a couple of times today, that with the oranges and the blues, um, there were two kind of different game strategies were happening within the right. same team. Right. Seven that definitely happens and there's also far too many players right. in front of a goal right. and it becomes, so we just found by experiment that five seems to work best. I find that very interesting that you settled on five in the end because that seems to be a natural number in our social network so your social network consists of an inner core of five intimate friends as you might imagine we might perhaps get, that's the right name to give them five on the football pitch gives you the opportunity to really know who these guys are and understand how they think. Uh, but what's also interesting is the very fact that it's three, because that also is what you see in social networks. So you've got this inner core of five, but then outside that is another layer that consists of two more fives, making up 15 as a whole, which is exactly what you have on the on the football pitch, and of course, in in uh, you might think of those then the extra two uh, uh, groups of five in your natural social network as your best friends, perhaps. But that those three clusters of five are in constant dynamic change, They're falling out with each other or yeah. not talking yes. to each other or best of friends. And I guess that's exactly what you're seeing on the pitch. Yeah, really. it's yeah. very very much yeah. the case, except that with the the other ten. Um, sometimes they're with you, sometimes yes, against you, right. and you yeah. never really know quite yeah. what's going to happen. But I think that's true in, in everyday life, you know, sure. that inner core, you're never quite on the same page. Mm -hmm.